Double Diamond Railroad Bank, clean to track with an alcohol wipe. Just had enough to get everything done over here. Clean the yard, clean the west yard, main lines. See what we got. See how much dirt is left on the engines from running before. So what we're going to do here is get this train set up. Gun couple, pull back, got a new crew on. I'm going to push forward and back down the uh, run around siding, passing siding, arrival track, whatever you want to call it. It's a combo. Pull up and switch down, pull down through there and drop the cars on the run around. I think they'll fit. Now come back out on the main run around, back in and pick them up. This is untested territory. And they have a car there that wasn't on the track. Didn't see it from cleaning. Well, I still got a problem. Uh, I don't know what he's hitting. There it is. Okay. That's not going to work. We're going to have to file that. So we'll take a break real quick and give it a file. Okay, we'll pick this up again. File, twist it a little bit, bend it. Wrong way, buddy. Give me all mixed up here. I ran through by hand. I didn't feel a thing that time. You're clicking. Wheels clicking there though. It's the joint after the insulator and wire. Right there. There it is. Something caught. I just ran through, pushed the car through, it was fine. Okay, we'll try this again. Took those cars out, they're unweighted, no loads. 
Let's see what these next one with loads will do. Because I hold my finger down, a little bit of pressure goes right through. But without it, it jumps up out of there. I have to put my gauge on it. Feel through there. You see the Herzog went right through because he's got that load in there. Those other ones need some weight. They'd be better trucks too. I'll check my switch up here. Good thing I did. did. There's that switch. Let's see. I don't have track on. Didn't have a voltage on. <laughs> Selector 3. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have 4 on either. Okay, that's all it was. Okay, let's back up now. See if he fits in there. I don't think it's going to fit. He might. Take it down to the end. Yeah, he'll fit. Minus those two cars. Stuff him out there. He's in a clear. You can pull up a little bit. I don't know where my yellow line is. I can't see it. Right there somewhere, I think. Okay, so got him in. Now we can cut cut the cards, leave them on the runaround track of siding, passing siding. It's gonna be fun with that special end of train marker. Okay. Got him loose. While I'm doing this, throwing a switch, I got the other two cars. I can zoom in there. Got the cargo, the Gatex, and the uh, Cirrix. <laughs> Cirrix, like syrup. Right there, Jolly Joker. <laughs> I like that. Boy, the top of that one. I like that silver top. That looks cool. They will throw the switch. They're going to reach it. Good volt. Oh, there's that spot. So you won't have to groove the guard out. Well, it's definitely a testing period. We're still hitting that doggone spot. Power's on. But he lost power. You can see the light went out. 
That should be number four. Yep. So, he's got a power brake right there somehow. Let me check. Check the track. It's got voltage. So it's right there, that switch. That thing's going to make me change it no matter what. The hardest one on the layout. There you got power again. I checked that with a continuity meter. Just that's what, see now the other one caught it and he went dead. It's a middle rail. I had a jumper before and that's the one that came out. It's a closure rail, doesn't have power. It was stopping there because he had a lot of problems. Still got to fix a few things here. Like that switch back there. It's a little bit rough. I'll file some more and then get this back switch. Oh boy. Got everything away now. The reach back there is hard. Might shoot with some deoxid, but I got to put the uh, continuity meter on it. Make sure it's that rail in the middle. It's dead and maybe I can jumper it again. Put the jumper back in. Just a, a plate, little metal plate that goes down there like an ear off a selector switch. And that bridges juice from the outer rail to the closer rail, the one on this side toward us. And that seems to fix it. But since it was going straight through, it would have to be the other one too, so that's a problem. It's just a bad switch electrically. Let's see what I can do for it. Okay, I think it's enough for now. Go up and edit this and get it uploaded. Pretty good scene there, pretty cool. Okay guys, we'll get it worked out. At least it's clean. I can find all these little bugs now. Give you one more look on the tankers. Right there. There's the two that I just got. Right at Jolly Joker. <laughs> Yeah, the run was a joke tonight. That is the first time we're going to find all these new little things. Hot points where they got to be fouled or whatever. And we know the switch back there in the back of the atlas was previous a problem. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Double Diamond Railroad out. Okay, little bonus footage. Just tried some little experiment here with those two cards only. Filed it a little bit again down on the inside. I don't know if the joiner's sticking up or what's going on. I'll have to get a mirror that I have upstairs and look at it. We'll try this. First wheels went through it. Second wheels through it. Next car. And last trucks through it. Right where the bad spot was.
course it didn't have a problem going that direction. Okay, we're clear to mark, we're clear to switch, and we're at the crew change point out there. Okay, that works good. It could be some with that big white car, I haven't run much, putting some pressure on the coupler to the side or something, flipped them off. But it's all about a weight issue. So I don't know what I'll have to do with that stuff I have. I might be able to put them inside there, but that wouldn't look supposed to be for gravel, so I'll have to make up a gravel load or something, ballast load on a piece of styrene. It should help out. Okay, guys, thanks again. Please like and subscribe. Double Dime Railroad out.